What's going on, guys? We coming back to a special edition video for tonight. We have a ticker that I'm gonna be mentioning you guys tonight. I'm gonna go over because it's brought to my attention that there could be some potential movement to the stock tomorrow. So let's let's go deep, you know, deep in this, and um, you know, let's see if we can you know get some uh, nice opportunities on in tomorrow. Man, the market is getting hot, so I think that anything in reality to the stock market and of course you know the stocks, if it gets an extra volume, I think we can do pretty good. So the ticker right now is gonna be H. CTI. Uh, we actually talked about this one previously. Uh, we were able to trade, make some you know money on this. If you were uh you know keeping out before, I believe when we traded, it ended up making high of four dollars, three dollars when we talk about it. So that's still you know again it's all about catching the right time. So in this particular case, uh, we do see that based on, on technicals, CTI it is consolidating here on this one ninety area, right? It's been doing that for a minute since they report earnings. Uh, so currently we have a couple levels that you want to see 1.76 seems to be support and 194 almost 195 seems to be resistance right which is almost aligning with a 20 EMA right so of course we can also see on the bottom bar bar has been accumulating for a minute uh Magni is starting curling up a little bit which you know it tends to give you a you know signal that there will be a potential breakout but of course to do that we need to have some extra bottom to do that so if we do are able to break this 195 uh, we do have a couple of levels on the upside. We have a 2.14 resistance and 2.34 resistance, right? So again, we are looking for a nice 10, 50 percent here, right? We're now looking again, you know, always try to do your best to stay green, guys. Remember, things can move out really quick. I mean, this only has 1.95 million uh, float, so this can really go quick and move quicker, right? Now, really, you know, uh, you know, review here on the on the earnings. They did report seven point one million revenue. Of course, they did report you know loss per share because they came back down. Uh, but it is a couple of interesting facts about this, right? You know, deep in, you know, they uh digging a little bit deeper. What they find out is that they do have a high cost to borrow, right? You know, three thirty two point forty nine percent, which makes me tell me that you know shores might want to start covering it too soon because if they don't. Then it's gonna be a big, big hurt, you know, hit for them. Usually, you know, stocks with high cost to borrow tend to be, uh, you know, targets for you know possible short squeeze when when they are given. So just keep in mind that one. That's something that you know might be might be attractive. Now there are another couple of things that we want to talk about. This one, first of all, they do have uh, you know, the listing notice that there was this you know this close here on March twenty second. But if you we if we you know look into it, they do have. 108 calendar days all the way up to September 16, 2024. So we not worry until then. Right. And the reason being is but as you can see here been disclosed, they do need to have two million five hundred dollars in storehouse equity, which currently they don't have, right? They didn't have, you know, they were reported five, you know, five hundred thirty thousand on December 31st. So in my opinion, I don't think there's gonna be this a problem to for them to raise um all the way then to you know September September um September 16th that is being disclosed here. I think that again, this is just a little rocks that most companies, you know, they they do face uh on, on the journey, like anything. So, you know, just the thing that's that's a minor setback for them. And again, if you can look here, the latest news, they did uh present this. They actually had a break new ground with an AI power patient data management with uh Redabi. You know how AI is pretty much like it's been revolutionary with every single company. Every company is trying to adapt AI to their companies because it's actually something that is really moving the you know the, the economy right now is really helping all, all you know these companies to grow. So it's something that we really want to keep an eye on. So if you look here, um, the really main here is the scene. This is collaboration established a revolutionary benchmark in the management and utilization of patient data, ultimately elevating the standards for enhanced care delivery. So this seems to be a very nice thing for them, but of course. We need to see this reaction on the price action, on the stock share price. But I do believe that, again, when this market is starting to getting hot, I think that we could potentially see a nice move tomorrow. Once again, guys, wait for the breakouts, you know, wait for some volume, and then take action, right? Remember, these are going to move. If And again, if it moves, do, do your best to, again, to stay green, do matter stock. But I think that is going to be a nice opportunity for tomorrow. Check it out. Again, we already have, you know, I think it's going to be, one of the probably main main stuff for tomorrow. So just you know, main watch. Do your best to do this. And remember, guys, no financial advice. Do your best to do to do. Make your TA, make your uh, your DD, and get ready for tomorrow, guys. Anything, any question, you know what to do, guys. Let me know. Once again, Alpha Community. The updates on this and all other tickers is gonna be on the Alpha Community. So join up. Link is on the description. 
All right, so see you guys, take care, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow live.